Quickly, uh, talk to us about what you feel are the challenges in achieving this, this goal, uh, because uh, this zero waste um, goal, and how do you think, if there are challenges, if there are barriers to achieving them, and how do you think um, we can overcome them? Okay, talking about uh, challenges and uh, barriers, uh, we really need to look towards uh, developing or setting up zero waste infrastructures. So these are things that can help us achieve a zero waste society in Nigeria, uh, zero waste infrastructure. Then we need to step up on education and awareness. Then at the government end, they should also back us up, back the process up with policies, not just policies, because policy goes with policing. So it should also be followed up for full implementation. Now, when we talk about education that I spoke about, it is also not just for citizens. All, everybody in the waste sector needs this education because uh, just like when I was talking about segregation of waste from source, uh, an individual cannot segregate their waste from source. And then when a waste manager comes to pick, them they jump pack it up and uh, it's quite discouraging so our waste managers everybody in the waste sector we need that education to be able to achieve the zero waste system that we all plan for we still need you to help us um, do a bit of a um, connection uh, between the climate change and zero waste and initiative because what we'll be wondering well this is my waste uh, it's just waste and why are you talking about climate change what exactly do you think we need to understand in order to mitigate against the impact it has on the climate change. What's the correlation? Okay. Um, the waste sector actually uh, is quite related. It's, it, it is much an issue when we talk about climate change because the waste sector releases a potent gas that is so powerful, uh, uh, one of the greenhouse gases. Now, when we talk about organic waste, during the decomposition of organic waste, a whole lot of things happen. Uh, methane gas is being emitted into the environment. And then methane gas is 25 times more potent than uh, than carbon dioxide in trapping air in the environment, making it a very strong uh, greenhouse gas that uh, that adds to the the issues of uh, uh, climate change. So these are the issues when we when we talk about waste and climate change. It is an a very it, it is a very serious issue because the waste sector alone is very much adding up to this issue of waste uh, of uh, climate change so we really need to deal with it by diverting our waste from the dump site because one of the things that zero waste does not believe in is the dump site and open dumping of waste we believe in uh creation or establishment of a resource site where people can walk in and uh, uh there are a whole lot of is going on in that way in that resource site where these materials are well managed rather than the open dumping that we we are seeing doing in nigeria so these are the things we can do and uh, uh talking about uh, climate change with this with zero waste we are able to combat or, or mitigate the issues of climate change mm. right and um if i'm correct it's a five-year-old campaign so far.